Hey, welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. Happy holidays, everyone. Oh, you know, it's the holidays. We're doing a big wintry holiday episode. I feel like we should probably at least look the part. Let's just change things up a little bit, all right? Here, here, here. And so you see, Bulbasaur, what happened in the Clone Saga is that... Something feels different. All right, hang on. Where were we? Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is not fair. Snap back, snap no, back no, this now. this is okay. Hey, that's a little better. Eh, everybody's okay. looking pretty, pretty festive. Oh, this is as festive as I get, man. All right, well, you're gonna have to wear one of these. I don't care for this. We're gonna talk about Justice League Endless Winter. This is like the Monsters Unleashed of the DC Universe, where it's like, hey, if this had come out instead of something bigger and more divisive, I think people would have liked this while it was happening. But instead, they were just like, that's enough. <laughs> and so Endless Winter came and went. Mm. Yeah. Not very endless. No, it was actually quite uh, short-lived. <laughs> well, Endless Winter was like right on the heels of... Oh, Dark Knight's Death metal. metal. It was on Death oh. Metal, and then it was right Ooh. before Future State. Yes. So and there so was it just was like this thing. This is and like the middle child of DC events of that time. That's right. That's mm. right. <laughs> because yeah, Dark Knight's Death Metal had just gone on and on. They added more and more stuff to it, and it wound up being probably around three hundred dollars to just read <laughs> Death Metal. So then they were like, oh, and by the way, here's going to be this massive multi-title crossover immediately after that by a group of people who wrote comics like 20 years before Scott Snyder. And it's gonna be about the Justice League dealing with cold stuff, oh no. <laughs> like, a, like a palate cleanser. Yeah, kind of like a palate cleanser, yeah. But oh. I think this was like on the docket forever and then they went like, nah, here. And it was being developed around the same time as Death Metal but with, t with a team of people who had nothing to do with Death Metal so no. they had like nothing but time to develop. Endless Winter. That would be oh, so it should be really good. Getting pushed back too. Yeah, probably. Yeah, well, that's right. Oh, well, you have more time. Oh, there's more shit. Okay, and actually, what's funny is they had more time to develop it, but after it was over, they had to make it shorter than it was going to be <sighs> because they were like, oh no, like DC's editors were like, oh no, we can't possibly ask them to read Endless Winter into the summer, so. <laughs> It was like a five-week event. It would be ironic. That'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah, it would, but we it would all be those headlines from Bleeding Cool, like Endless Winter refuses to stop. You know, like that's the whole point that's of the Endless joke. Winter. Yeah, like we are now week ten into Endless Winter. They should have gone all in and done a full year of Endless Winter. I I don't think that would have flown for anyone. <laughs> and this started like I don't even think it was on the heels. It was like right. Death Metal as, hadn't even ended yet. Yeah, because Death Metal was like I. Well, just Death Metal just took too goddamn long. I can't wait for you two to have to sit through Death Metal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Sal, so, is this a Mister Freeze event? You know, or a you, Killer Frost? You'd be surprised how. Or a Captain Cold? Oh. None of those characters appear in this book. Or Sub Zero? Sub Zero? You mean like <laughs> from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he hangs yeah. out with the Justice League cast sometimes. So is this characters we've never friggin' heard of? No. Responsible you, for this? Yes. Yeah, brand new character. Great. Did they just push the sun? Or no, push the earth a that's little Final away? Night. Final it, Night is we get rid of the sun. Is it, that's Carl Kessel. Is it Loki and he's come here from Jotunheim with you're his not, frost giant? You're not too <laughs> far off because oh. it is. It was pitched as Justice League Vikings. That oh. Was the idea. No, don't get excited because oh. it's not that. You're like everything about this no. was just kind of cool sounding, and all they did was release a little bit of art. Like you saw Batman in his sweet snow gear and Wonder Woman sporting some neat new Viking inspired armor. Oh, that's oh, dope. That and we're like, cool. whoa, this is dope. And like, yeah, those are technically in this book. Oh. oh. Those are cool and they images do look that you cool. will barely see. Yes. I mean, mm. they do wear these outfits. Well, Wonder Woman gets this outfit, I think, at the end of the book. But like, Batman wears his, his snow armor for the majority of the book. That's oh. cool. Okay. Does he use like snow no. like vehicles and stuff that he shoot like? He does not like... have like a, a Batmobile snowmobile. No, because I also remember those Batmobile. toys from the nineties. Oh yeah, there was like ice. There were a lot of snow-related Batman. Batman figures. Yeah. Well, thanks to Batman Returns, it took place in Christmas. Right, and he fought Penguin. <laughs> this is a holiday book. Is the Penguin in this? He's not. Anyway, so the story opens in Greenland. Uh, where... In Greenland. 
That's right. <laughs> they're, there's, they're doing some super science drilling. Oh. With crystals. Yes. They're getting ice cores. So, okay, here's the Is thing. Is this the thing? It's not the thing. That'd be awesome that if it was the thing. That sucks. It, I mean, like, here's the thing. It's a lot of things, and if you want to, like, go deep into it, like, you thing. could be like, oh, yeah, no. It's like if the thing were entrenched in Vikings and also fought the Justice League and also didn't do any of the things like mimicry <laughs> that the thing does. That sucks. That it's exactly the thing. That'd be that it's totally the thing. <laughs> Lanning and Mars are like, here's an event that was supposed to be big, that we then truncated and made it not feel like they cut out a lot of stuff, and we'll create new characters, and we are classic comic book writers, so like we did the research about what happened before and after all this shit, mm. and the only thing they don't reference is Dark Knight's death metal. So it's like a really refreshing palate cleanser for everybody. Like, the Batman Who Laughs isn't even referenced in this book, and it's like, wow, How is that possible? How is that possibly so marketable? I mean, awesome. So. Isn't it weird, though, that they don't mention anything that, like, just happened to them? They None of them want to think about it. Oh, I see. Yes. I mean, like, they didn't They're say that. They're all just that. trying to move on. We're all trying to move on. <laughs> Wait, does this, is this in continuity? It is in continuity. No, does well, this happen after? Who cares? It, sure. I have significant yes. questions, no. but there's, I don't want to say anything. There's no mm. way it can. That's so what I'm saying. Place, it takes place right before Dark Knight Seven. Uh, right okay. before. Okay. Because... Rogel Czar destroyed the Fortress of Solitude. Oh. In Man of Steel. So that happened. Mm -hmm. Stag Industries is developing that area and mining it for secret Kryptonian crystals. Because... The Superman's just letting that happen? He, he, he was like, well, I got wrecked. I guess I'm leaving. And he made a new... He made a new... You're Superman. You can collect things. Yeah, just he, clean up a little bit. Yeah, well, it's also... The, the book is kind of about, like, making mistakes in the past and, like rectifying them in the future okay so like even superman has to learn a lesson about like how you pick up your shit <laughs> don't leave your crystals lying around right or else like a heretofore unestablished son of a previously established old school dc villain named stag who is looking to make a name for himself because he literally didn't exist before this book has taken over the former stag who is now dead's industries and is using his like super ice crawler machine and laser technology to mine the remnants of the Fortress of Solitude and steal their crystals because he wants to use it for cold fusion. But it's <laughs> it, that's bullshit. He's actually just looking to steal Kryptonian technology, call it his own, and then use it for his own financial gain. Is right. this character called Fawn? What? Because he's called Stag? Stag? No. no. It, yeah, or he could be Doe. Oh. oh. No, there's multiple Stags in this book, none of whom have uh, equine or deer-related... <laughs> Nicknames. Okay. Lame. Uh, yeah. I'm well, sorry. that is unfortunate. <laughs> it is hardly unfortunate. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Arabian Sea on Matali Island, uh, a group of D-list supervillains have taken <laughs> over. They just rolled in and <laughs> took shit over. Oh. Maybe yeah. they're just on vacation. They are not. They rolled in and took shit over. They literally are like, yeah, they're 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 celebrating their victory over taking over the small island country, and are like drinking mai tais and hanging out. And then, like, the police force shows up, and they're like, man, why didn't they give us a minute? And then the Justice League shows up, and they're like, what? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> we're D-list supervillains doing D-list supervillain shit. Why is the Justice League doing this? And they're like... Whoop. It's our one pro bono case of the year. Right. They're like, come Helping on. out this country. Yeah, this is this is like community service. We're, ha we're having an off day. And <laughs> yeah, we're we just, having an off day. Flash we, fucked up, and now we're doing this. We, needed, we wanted a win. Right. We, we, we needed, needed a win. easy win. We needed a yeah. guaranteed win, so we came <laughs> knocking on your doorstep. They're like, ouch. <laughs> And why wouldn't they? Because you got characters like Multiplex and Rampage. Multiplex? What do you watch movies in him? No, he makes multiples himself. It's like Multiple Man, but I gotta, but I can't say Multiple Man. I gotta come up with something else. <laughs> so yeah. Also, Catman. Ooh. Yay. He doesn't do anything. I mean, he looks like Batman. Is his whole thing. Mm -hmm. Catman's whole thing is I look like Batman. But I'm a cat. Intentionally. I'm a cat. Yeah. Ah. He doesn't have a cape. I like people yeah, to confuse does. me does for he? Batman. Yeah. Who am I thinking of? So anyway, the Justice League shows up and they like, <laughs> they beat them. And that's the fight. And it's like, it's one of those things where it's like Lanning and Mars are like, you know what people want to read? Superheroes succeeding for a minute. And not having some kind of goddamn existential crisis about like, I punched you, but I'm really punching society. Like, uh, this win is for us. Yeah. They're just like, they're just rubbing right. their faces in it. No. Uh, this is just what the Justice League does when you're not reading. When you're yeah. not reading this book, they're also having adventures that like you used to read back in the day. Yeah. So <laughs> Flash is annoying the entire league with some bullshit because like mm -hmm. I guess 
you know, these, these poor people are like told, hey, it's got to have like dual meaning. It can't just be about them beating up villains. So Flash is, <laughs> he, he's, he's abusing the communicator with the Justice League to ask them how they balance their personal lives and their lives as superheroes. Oh, he's got an issue specifically with he, that or? Sure. In this he does, where he's just like, I don't know, I feel like I'm not doing a very good job being like a husband and a superhero. Like, you I'm not... are super speedy. Yeah. You should the have the most time. Man alive. You should be the, the one who has the easiest time, and you're the one who has <laughs> you're the only one I don't who understand, do I can balance everything yeah. in my life. That's ironic. But anyway, he annoys everybody about it. I mean, not really, but like, I'd be annoyed, and I was annoyed reading it. But... Oh, because he won't shut up. <laughs> he won't shut up, and he just keeps like, it, that, that's the dialogue. Because the dialogue could be them like, given fun repartee, but instead it's them talking to Flash. So they kick the shit out of these guys and they get, they get arrested and they're like, oh, that sucks. Meanwhile, Multiplex made a multiple who's driving the paddy wagon, taking them away, so they get away immediately and the Justice League is just too busy jerking each other off to notice. <laughs> so uh, Flash leaves with Superman and he's like, hey, you, you're the most relevant right now. You have a son and he's a teenager now <laughs> and your, your dad's alive, so you have like, you know, you got your dad too. You're, you're pretty much happy about everything. Well, you got like your whole family. You got like you got, a lot you got, of family. Yeah, like a lot, go, lot going on here. Yeah. yeah. And and Ma Kent's alive. Ma and Pa are both alive. Oh. Right. So that's probably a lot of work to balance all that. That's How what he's asking. Yeah. And Superman's like, honestly, I probably am not. Like he's he's offensively humble about it. You know, where he's like, I feel like I'm doing the worst job. It's like, oh my god. Ugh. Shut up. Like, shut up, Superman. Everyone loves you, Superman. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Could you please <laughs> just for, be real with me for one minute? Just just, know, just tell me that you look in the mirror every day, or at least one time. Yeah, and go, go like, all right. Yeah, I well, mean, I am Superman. Doing okay, Clark. <laughs> well, go CK, wink. All you have to do is say the perfect thing every, every time. time. That's it. And just, just <laughs> look. My superpower isn't flight or strength or heat vision. I do have them. It's knowing <laughs> the right thing to do at all times. So just be, just, just, just embody just that. Just do that. Have I inspired you? No. Anyway. You, you've made me very depressed. So he says, you know, we're all just doing the best we can. Oh, there's a mudslide in Sri Lanka, I gotta go. Like, there is no mudslide. I'm sure there is, but like. <gasps> Dude, like, he's a liar! I'm like, yeah. Well, no, there is, but it's in a bar. Yeah, and, then, and I'm drinking it. So. And he ordered it like five minutes ago. Yeah. Like, There's a mudslide. I'm not gonna stop it. No, I just saw it, and I'm gonna use it as an excuse. Maybe you can think you're better than me by getting there first, and then you'll stop it. Anyway, <laughs> you gotta stop. So, uh, I guess he'll run. He'll run around it or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, he'll just run in circles, and then it'll shoot up into the air. Yeah, it'll make a tornado, and then it'll right. all fall down. Yeah, exactly. You know, he yeah, fires that's like it. dust. Yeah, well, it breaks at mo, and it just like floats into space. So. <laughs> Stag, uh, he collects a big chunk of ice right before a big storm is coming, and it's gonna hit the crawler. They keep calling this, they, they keep referring to this crawler like it's gonna be an awesome action place that I'm gonna buy on sale <laughs> soon, and it's not, and also it like barely comes into play, but it's just like, oh. here's some cool tech that like is fun to draw, and it looks like a kind of like spider thing that also shoots lasers and, cool. and, and collects ice, because the crystals infused in the other, the, it's not enough that like Stag wants to steal Kryptonian crystals. He wants to steal new ice that will be used for cold fusion. It's special what? ice. Can you just make what? new ice? I'm like, if you use it, it will melt, and then it's nothing. I got no, I got a tray at home. I can make ice all the time. Melt. Right? Yeah, but like, what? What? What makes you think cold fusion is possible using ice at all? Like, just because it's cold fusion doesn't mean it's actually cold. No, that's no, where the that's scientists what... went wrong. They needed to use ice for fusion. That's, yeah, yeah. And you just gotta fusion. smash them into each other. All these lasers they're using for this cold fusion. That's it's millions of degrees. Are they so... trying to cool someone's hot heart? <laughs> He's saying like, oh no, there's special unique ice that we're oh. collecting. Question. So maybe it's just all home. bullshit. Why? It's all bullshit. It's all Why is he... No, no. he says to his sister like, cold fusion. What a f like? Why is he bothering to lie? Oh, because his sister should be controlling Stag Industries. And she's a real character in the DC universe, but he's new. And his father left the company to him because he's a dude. And so he's basically saying, like, I got lawyers and stuff that are def that are deflecting your rightful ownership of this company. And I'm doing it through, like, humanitarian efforts. Like, look at what I'm doing with Stag Industries. Like, I'll have, you know, people on my side and the public opinion agreeing with me and Oh, stuff. he's like, grabbing new ice and starting cold fusion. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's supposed to, like, Stag took a whole bunch of money and he's using crawlers to, like, tool around in the oh, okay. Who gives a shit? So it's a, it's a plan to fight climate change with a new energy source or something. Or something. Or free energy for That's everyone. what he's saying. He doesn't even say, he doesn't even talk about free energy. He just talks about cold fusion 
And that's bullshit. It's, <laughs> it's a buzzword. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. So the Got blizzard it. comes through. Stag's a dick. You know, he's like, they're like, what do we do? And he's like, well, keep keep working. Like, hunker down, waiting for the storm to pass, and then keep dri- keep drilling. Drill, baby, drill. Bingo. Uh, so the storm rolls in, but instead, ice wolves attack them, and ice goblins and monsters. What? Oh my god! Yeah. Well, those aren't real, though. No, but they are now. Here Wait, they are. Are they crystal? No, monsters? They're, they're, well, okay. But so they just live did the ice. crystals, the crystals help part make part of the ice? Some part of the crystals imprinted onto the ice or copied and then gave it. No, it's not really that. Like the ice. <laughs> Is it that there were animals around no, and they got like. And they got turned into ice? No. Oh. No. Is it nightmares? No. 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 Is, it, no. Is it data? No. Is it like sphere where someone's manifesting no. them? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was gonna, oh, wait, what? I was going to say, is oh, it, is it not, like Lady in the Water and their fairy tale animals? I like mean, scrunts? Okay, it's a shame that you know what they're called. Is it? Yes. <laughs> okay. They're tools of the antagonist of the story. Okay. Okay. You know what's funny? What? You turned a page at one point and I saw something. No, it's the other way. It's, it's, it's coming up. Yeah. Yeah, not here. But I definitely was like, I remember reading that. Mm-hmm. Which means I've read this first issue. You did. But I literally don't, don't remember, remember anything thing except that other scene that's coming up later. Yeah. And I'm like, like what? <laughs> what is happening? Must not have made an impression. Nope. I think I know why I stopped reading it. Yeah. So the, the Justice League shows up because the crawler was calling a Mayday signal. And the, this is the Justice League's we're doing random mundane bullshit day. Right. And so they all show up. Oh, hey, look, there's Batman's uh, winter suit, except it's black instead of white like it should be. Yes, that's right. Oh. Yeah, we, we will, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Well, that sketch back there wasn't approved. No. This but, is just cool uh, looking. I like that one better, though. Yeah, I know. Me too. We all do. So anyway, the Justice League shows up. They they smash the ice monsters. And they're like, these are just ice monsters. Like, when I smash them, their blood doesn't pour out. So they must not be sentient. So let's just, <laughs> let's just fuck <laughs> these guys up. Let's yeah, just say there's no loose. blood. It's fine. Yeah. Well, they don't even say there's no blood. I'm just saying that. But like, and Batman pulls out a gun too. Well, Batman blows one up. Like, there's a ice yes. monster man that's like trying to like push the crawler into a crater. He's trying to write out, "Please help me." Please don't. I'm no, trapped please. in here. And Batman's I'm like, "Oh, sentient. bomb!" <laughs> it blows up. It's great, guys. They want you to think they're sentient. They're not. It's okay. <laughs> this is where the Fortress of Solitude was. right? Yes, and Superman doesn't even remember that. Like, he's so <laughs> fucking distracted by everything that he doesn't recognize like where he spent the last. However many years Superman's been active in this continuity. Mm. So, you know, but later he does. He goes like, oh. I was so distracted, I can't believe I didn't realize. Like, this is where the fortress used to be. Yeah, it's like if your family moves and then like you, you end go up, through your town. You go through your old town at one point, you're just like, wait a minute, my house is right over there. Well, wait a second, we stopped and asked for directions in my childhood home. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. That's, that's Superman. Well, in his defense, it's just a big expanse it, of ice, there's right? No like, there's no landmarks. Okay, but that was his home. Yeah. So that's all his home ever was. Also, he's Superman, so like... Well, really, I mean, like, no. That, he, that was like his... He's got super memory. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, he's super everything, right? They leave, and then the Frost King comes out of the crater. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize a World of Warcraft character <laughs> was going to be showing up. The Lich up. King climbs out of the crater. And, and the ain't King the Lich King. And the Grenade. Yeah. No, he looks like, uh, what is it, Ithilien or whatever that guy is with the, the big thing that comes out of the gate. Yeah, it's Ithilien. Is it? Yeah, yeah that's, with the two horns. Yeah. But it also like has Frost more in the yeah, sword, it does. and he looks like a Draenei because yeah. he's blue. Yeah. How could you say that? How could you say this character is anything other than wholly original and awesome looking? So the Frost King is like, I mean, I'm I guess because I have eyes. Yeah. So the Frost King is like, I'm free. And the Justice League is like, oh, look, a dude. I'm I sorry. just thought it was Ice Lobo. I saw I'm the sorry. markings on yeah, his face. He does look like Lobo. Does he pop out and go, after 10,000 years, I'm free? It's time to conquer Earth. Yes. Yeah, he basically is Reader. Yeah, he's Reader Repulsa. Nice. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't then go, like, make my monster grow and make his ice monsters grow. But, right. like, but, but I mean, he, he could. Does, but he's he, like, he it, does grow, though. Later. He's like if Goldar were Rita. <laughs> yes. He hallucinates three other characters whom he has interacted with in the past. And so he, like, superimposes over, like, Aquaman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Okay. The Aquaman and the Wonder Woman, I get. Batman is just like, oh. Batman is <laughs> just like... And a guy. <laughs> uh, I'll just turn you into somebody <laughs> else. You don't look guy. anything like someone. No. Well, but I guess, like, because he's wearing black. Uh, so he <laughs> sees... Hippolyta, Black Adam, and Viking Prince. Now, this is where... Uh, mm. Go roll back there, one. One of those things is yeah. not like oh, the other. Oh, Hippolyta? Uh, no. She's, she's mother of Wonder Woman. I oh, Black who... Adam? Yeah, he's the anti-Shazam. No, no. not that one. The, the oh, Viking Prince? Yeah, that well, guy? he's a prince. He's a, he's a Viking, a Viking prince. Yeah. 
His name's John, and he's from yeah, like, but like the where's Brave he of from, the Bold. Though? They invented him in the Brave of the Bold in like 1955. Uh, and they like never can, had any good ideas with him, but they kept using him. And for some reason, Ron Mars like I love Viking Prince, and he like championed hard to get Viking Prince in this book. <laughs> he's like, if we're doing Vikings and we're doing Frost, we I gotta, gotta get the Viking, Viking Prince, Prince in here. Fair. Can't, and, and they were like, no. And he's like, no. Like we gotta do Viking Prince. Viking Prince, or I walk. <laughs> and they called him John? <laughs> well, it, you know, the he, most Anglo Saxon <laughs> name ever. Yeah. So they, uh, you know. If Hippolyta right. was there, wouldn't Wonder Woman know about him? Uh, no. She kept it from her. But Hippolyta did tell the story and myth of the Frost King to another Wonder Woman, which is Donna Troy. And in certain continuities, Donna Troy is the younger version of Wonder Woman anyway. So, yes, technically she did tell her. Was the story like, That's yeah, we used to bang, but like... You know. No, she did not bang the <laughs> Frost King. And actually, the Frost King's your dad. So, you have the power to fight No, him. And, you, and the power of ice. Actually, it's like really weirdly implied that like Hippolyta and, and, and Viking Prince have like a history. Not that oh. they were banging, but like for whatever reason, she like has a real soft spot for Viking Prince and like no one She's else She's like, care you're less. so lame. I just can't yeah. help it. You're, you're <laughs> yeah. so lame. Yeah, Black Adam's like, what are we doing with this Viking Prince? She's like, leave him alone. <laughs> Give him a break. Come Adam, on, look at him. Come on, look he's like him. a hurt puppy. Yeah, his name is Viking Prince. <laughs> he's a nice guy, all right? <laughs> you leave Prince of Space alone. It's Viking Prince. <laughs> oh, right. I don't go to space. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, so the Frost King summons some ice monsters. They attack, you know, uh, you know, Viking Prince is... Uh, uh, <laughs> Superman, you have heat vision. He uses it to kill one monster, but then doesn't use it on the Frost King. Like, it doesn't work. Why didn't they oh. have the Frost King, like, hit him in the face and knock out his heat vision for the He board? clearly didn't rest enough to get his uh, spell counter back, so he can only use the ability once. There you have oh. it. Oh. Anyway, okay, that is a cantrip for Superman, and you know it. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> so the Frost King, like, he, he threatens to destroy the world and create Endless Winter. And so uh, everybody, like, you know, he, he blasts them with cold and then disappears. And then uh, we see the Endless Winter across every, every corner of what we're going to see in this event. It's my so team! the yeah. Himalayans and the Rockies yeah. and everywhere else that's normal like that, they're just like, so? Yeah. They're like, ha! Well, no, it's more cold. That's, that's literally, even right. cold places are colder than they were. Right. So like Gotham, Manhattan, Washington, Metropolis, Condock, the, so, the sovereign nation that is run by Black Adam. He's like, that's weird. I'm not gonna go do well, this. Well, Black Adam fought the Frost King before, so he's like, oh no, it's happening again. And you're like, what's happening again? And then they flash back to the century where we go back. Let's go back, let's find out oh, why. Oh boy. And uh, the idea is like the wizard Shazam allows for Black Adam to be summoned to give himself an opportunity to like be redeemed because back in like Egyptian times he was an asshole so they imprisoned him away. Every 10,000 like, years I'll come we, and see if see, you can redeem yourself. In this unestablished period in Black Adam's history we also let him out for a minute to fight the Frost King and then put him back because he wouldn't stop being such a dickhead. <laughs> and so, and he gets to hang out with Viking Prince. Yeah. And the father. That's right, that's right. Okay, so like very shortly before this Jason Aaron established this thing called the Avengers, what, like what, a B million BC? Yeah, one million BC or something like that. Where or? it's like, hey, there used to be Avengers even before there was like, man. They were cool designs. They were cool designs and a terrible idea and an awful comic <laughs> Well, just book. like coincidentally there were Avengers? Because it's not like the modern Avengers named themselves nope. after the prehistoric Avengers. No, I guess, I guess what he's saying is that like, the Earth must always have Avengers. Yeah. Oh, it's like yeah, faded. So like, yeah, it always has to be, to be defended. Right, like Odin and the uh, Phoenix. Excuse me, those would be the defenders. Yeah, oh, yeah. I apologize. Entirely different. The world needs to be avenged. So like, Could we stop it from having Venge? No, only, only afterwards. Yeah. So we're doing Justice League. 10th century, or right. as they pitched it, Justice League Vikings, which is to say it's during Viking times. They're not, none of these characters are Vikings. The only ones that are, are Viking Prince, and I suspect he's not really a Viking. Man, so, wouldn't the year 10,000 BC be much better if it was a DC movie with superheroes in it? 10, they could call BC, it though. BC DC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we established the, 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 the DC DC of, uh, Black Adam, Hippolyta, Viking Prince, and Swamp Thing. Because like Swamp Thing. Because he's eternal or whatever. Because he's eternal or whatever, yeah. yeah. Oh, and he's got horns. Yeah, well some people like to draw Swamp Thing with horns. It's just, that's like a new, oh, I, it's a. I apologize, antlers. Yes, uh, <laughs> this is an affectation they've like added to Swamp Thing over time. Where it's like, oh no, when he's like more tapped into the green, he has like. But what, he's, what he's, version of him is he? Well, he's just, oh, in this they say that like, uh, the green slash swamp things like essence or whatever picks a guy and then like grows an, a swamp thing around them. Okay. 
So what happens during an ice age to Swamp Thing? He dies. But then comes back. Yeah, because the green always grows back. Yeah. So anyway. So who cares? Well, you know, he's, he's, he's useless when it's cold. When it's cold, yeah. So we watch, like, th then there's a whole flashback about, like, the BCDC fighting <laughs> the Frost King. And the idea is, like, you know, like, Viking Prince is doing his thing, you know, being a Viking or whatever. Hippolyta's like, I'm more cool with man's world than anyone's ever established me to be, <laughs> ever, literally. Like, there is there is no tension for her and man whatsoever, except for the fact that Black Adam is a douche. And they're just like, oh, Black Adam, what a douche. It's too bad he's so powerful and we need him. So Maybe she hasn't developed the anti-man's world thing yet? I think that's yet. what it is. I think it's maybe like she hasn't been betrayed quite so often. Viking Prince did something. No, she no. likes Viking <laughs> Prince. Yeah, I'm saying. He rocked yeah. her world, and she's like, maybe man's world's not so bad. <laughs> but then he left, and she was like, yeah, that's, right. like, that's, yeah, that's literally what happens, and she's They're like, really, monsters. she's really well, sad about it. Then he took off his helmet, and the hair came with it. He's yeah. like, no, it's just a prop. She's like, oh. Oh. You're bald? <laughs> No. Back on the boat. <laughs> this dude in the 10th century who would be the Frost King named Edwald Olafsson. Oh, he's the Viking Prince. No, Viking Prince is the Viking Prince. That's John. But he's got a real Viking name. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, this guy is a, uh, I think that he's, he has whatever, like, Cold kinesis, like he can, he, he can, he's, he's Ice Man, he has Ice Man powers. He can okay. manipulate uh, ice. Sure. Okay, just, he's so just born he's that frozen. Way. Yeah. He's frozen. Okay. He's Elsa. And so, <laughs> would you like to build a snowman? No, he's Olaf's son. He's the son of Olaf. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, his mom was a Viking woman, and uh, his dad Banged was a snowman. A, was, a, was a stupid snowman was with frosty. a learning ability. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> She's like, you say the sweetest things. Yeah. Let us bang. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's like World According to Garp. She wanted a mentally handicapped person that wouldn't want to have anything to do with her. Like, yeah, upbringing. and then and then you know obviously he melted to death. Yeah, uh, she's like Woo. melted to death. She's like I I That's will. That's what Frosty does. He I'll, dies. I'll, I'll carry. No, he does. He All that was death. left was a yeah. carrot. Yeah. Yeah, and she's like I'll carry your your, your, your son. No. <laughs> I got hungry. Anyway, so uh, Edwald. I need to make a the problem is that like Edwald had like ice powers, and for a while in his village it worked out great, but then like. But it, then they turned on him, right? And they had to go into a castle. Yeah. And then one time he has to sing Let It Go. He doesn't sing. Does he, he have he like a brother palace? or a sister? No, he has like... no, he, no, because this is actually more like economic than Frozen. They don't like invent a sister to be subversive, but then forget what to do with that character mm. and then just don't do anything useful or valuable with that character. And then say, you know what? It's just good to have powers. Yeah, it's actually just better to be powerful. <laughs> Instead, Edwald has a family, and like the snow rolls in, and it gets worse. And like he 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 has no. The idea is he has no training. Like no one's there to help him learn his powers. Mm. Well, not only so, that, but like, what a snow power is gonna do when it's too cold? Right. You can't help us. Well, in this case, you build powers, an igloo. Yeah. You could shovel. In, in this case, his powers run amok and like they get out of control. Mm. And so the village turns on him and they burn his house down and they kill one of his children. And oh. then he loses it and like, you know, he, he becomes the Frost King. And, he, and he's and, like, now I'm the Frost King. Mm -hmm. You drove me to it. Yes. Whoa, what yeah. happened to the art? Why is it so different? They had Phil Hester draw that, that issue. Because like these issues now go across all these different titles. Okay. Uh, yes. And these titles also like have to come out month to month. And DC is at least slightly aware of the fact that like everyone who's reading DC is sick of multi-title crossovers. So they're like, let's just make it as economic as possible. It takes place in, in each of the Justice League's issues, except for Batman, obviously we can't derail that train. And uh, <laughs> his powers run amok and he becomes like the Frost King. You know, he's like, ah, now I'm blue and I, and I can make ice monsters and stuff. And like, you know, his son is dead and he basically goes into like a blind rage and it's this that catches the attention of the newly formed BCDC, who then like go to deal with him. Um, Black Adam finds out that he has a family. He goes in, he grabs his family, and he just dumps them in front of the Frost King's like rampage. Like the Frost King is just like marching his way through like villages, like you know, freezing them and shit. <laughs> and Black Adam's like, well, I'm gonna put his family in front of him, uh, not like to try and appeal to him as a human being, but more like, like fuck this guy. Like maybe it'll maybe it'll slow him down long enough for me to kill him because I'm Black mm -hmm. Adam and I can do that. Right. And so uh, Hippolyta He'll have Viking to go through Prince, his own family first. Yeah, yes. And Viking Prince and Hippolyta are like, "You're gross. This is terrible." They go there, and they're about to stop the Frost King when they see that the Frost King's like wife and remaining children are like, "Dad, don't do this." And, and he's, he's like. like Oh shit. Yes. And then Black Adam's like, sweet, he's distracted. And then <laughs> just tries to kill him, uh, which throws him into a blind rage. 
and then you know it just it, it, it just goes all crabbed like the whole thing falls apart for him he fights Black Adam he hates him he's because Black Adam's like a, a, a douche nozzle the entire time like even when he in the present he's just like the Frost King's back I have a solution we'll kick the shit out of him <laughs> right well, so he we're did, not inviting you, Black He did create Adam. Endless Winter, so he's kind of asking for it. Yes. So, uh, Viking Prince and the uh, and, and and the, the Frost King do battle. And I mean, of, Prince versus King. That's right, that's right. Well, you know who's going to win. But, like, the <laughs> idea here is that, like, the Viking Prince has... And one of his superpowers is he can't die unless it's a warrior's death. Uh, Don't get into fights then. Wouldn't but, any death when no, he's fighting a bad guy be worthy guy's of a warrior? And it's like so no one can like sneak up behind him and like assassinate. Right? Him. No, then he'll then he'll live. Okay. And he can't like drink himself to death. And he can't like <laughs> you know he can't like jerk himself off and choke himself out and then fucking die embarrassed in the closet. Instead, <laughs> I was gonna say you can't like <laughs> get a ton of STDs. Yeah, he, from those. exactly. I mean, he can have them. <laughs> and does he yeah. can definitely be a carrier? He's the reason H- <laughs> HPV exists. So uh, instead. He fights the Frost King, and the Frost King's like, I'm gonna kill you. And he's like, that'd be great. I can't wait to die. I'm like old and shit, and I want to go to Valhalla. So they fight, and uh, they Yukon Cornelius over the side of like a thing while Black Adam and Apollo to fight like more demon monster ice things. Okay, uh, Viking Prince also got stabbed in the stomach. Yeah. And the sword came out his oh. back. Yeah, no, Viking Prince's like, oh, yes, thank you. You know, Viking Prince takes the blade and then grabs Frost King. He's like, let's go. Yeah. So they tumble down the uh, down the cliff like a Balrog and Gandalf, yes. yeah, or like Yukon Cornelius and, and the Bumble, the Bumble, yeah, keeping with the theme, okay. right? And so uh, <laughs> they they fall, and like as they're falling, the Frost King turns back into El- Ed- Eldwald, and he's like, "Please, you have to release me. I have to save my family." And he's like, "I don't give a shit. Let's go." And so like they they are then trapped in the glacier, and of course the glacier that uh, Stag was drilling in is the same glacier that. Uh, the Frost King was trapped in. Superman happened to build his fortress. Just happened to build it. Right on top. Right on top of, of the where Frost the Frost King maybe, and the Viking Prince landed. Maybe he was secretly drawn there by what he knew not. Yes. Uh, summoning him from beneath why, the why, ice. Why would he be summoned there? <laughs> and that's why you don't see any anyone... Maybe that's why Greenland is so icy. It used to be all green, yeah. but then the Frost King went there, and yeah, now it's and covered in snow. It's a land so of they, perpetual ice. Yeah, when, yeah. They ex- when they extricate uh, the Frost King from there, Greenland should be green again. Uh, Wait, so they, do they find the corpse of Viking Prince like next to him? They find like <laughs> mangled. Yeah. They deal with it. They, oh, they, okay. they, they deal with it. But like that's why you don't see any Viking Prince stories because like he died during the story that no one ever wrote before. And so okay. the Frost King's trapped down there. And when Stag like pulled out that piece of ice that he was going to experiment on, well, guess what? Ed- Eldwald's family is also entombed in the ice that they extracted and he took them to like a, se- a secure location out in Gotham and what the Frost King has been like creating Endless Winter to find his lost family. This is just this is Mr. Freeze. This is Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Well, like if someone took Nora and this just, is what and he just would split do. her into three characters and yeah that's it. Well, and, and made her... You oh, know, but he's not using, like, science. He's using, like, magic, magic. And shit. So, so the Frost King's family is frozen in magic ice because it's Frost King's ice. Mm-hmm. So, like, they're not dead, but they're frozen there and they're trapped. And so Frost King's, like, creating Endless Winter. More Does that or mean less... all the other Norse no. people that <laughs> Frost King froze? Oh, no, they're all dead, too. Yeah, no. no they're dead. Dead. So they actually good. died? He meant to kill them, yeah. Well, oh. he also sent, like, ice monsters to, like, rip them apart and stuff. In fact, <laughs> uh, Multiplex, one of those, like, villains, yeah, like, when Multiplex frees those D-list villains... They all go to Kondok for, like, refuge. Mm. And uh, then, you know, Black Adam gets roped into the whole, like, let's stop the Frost King again. And yeah. uh, one of the Ice Wolves, like, rips Multiplex apart. Oh. And, like, he, they rip apart Prime Multiplex, so all the Multiplexes are dead. So, so oh. Multiplex is dead? Yeah, we just brought him in here to kill him. Because, oh. like, no one's going to argue that Multiplex... Oh, no, poor Multiplex. So, anyway, they can kill you. And so, you know, it's only if Frost King is using his ice powers, I guess, like, at you. Or if maybe they're related to him or something. Who cares? Right. The point is, uh, they're, they're alive, but entombed in ice. And so, we can use them as a, a bargaining chip when the Frost King ultimately comes to the end of the book. Like in Sino Man! No. So he needs to the world to be ice be, or no, frozen? He's just, he's just doing that because he's mad. Oh, oh he's just okay. an asshole. He's having a temper tantrum. It's just tantrum. a bigger version of when he froze his village or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, meanwhile... Uh, so he didn't learn anything from no. what Viking Prince did? No. 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 Well, also, while he was trapped under ice, <laughs> uh, he was underneath the Fortress of Solitude. And so, like... 
Oh, was he watching? He could hear no. all the shit going on. No. There's like, oh, I no, just wish like, I could be him. He doesn't have like, oh, I want to be where the people are. <laughs> I want to see, see him dancing. No, the, the, like, the Kryptonian like, crystals and shit like leaked into the ice. And so like, uh, he got supercharged. He got super powerful. Oh, he's got like Superman strength. Yeah. So now he has Kryptonian like technolo- technological imprinting power augmenting his own natural born frost abilities. Does that mean like any <laughs> sea creatures that swim under the ice mm-hmm. <laughs> of the... Of the Oh, to fortress yeah. cells also get supercharged? They should, but they're, well, they're not there for like thousands of No, because he soaked them all up. Oh, well, yeah. Superman's well, not there for thousands of years. years. He's like a sponge. Yeah, 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 yeah nothing got like past him. There. He was directly underneath, yeah. and he yeah. caught all the crystals before they could fall through to the, below yeah. the ice. Right. Does that mean his family also have superpowers? No. Oh, they weren't well, close maybe enough. they do, because there's a sequel to this, but nobody read it. So, what? Aquaman goes, he's going to go like... Aquaman is like a half cocked crazy idea to like go make friends with the like fire trolls under oh, the sea. Because fire can undo trolls ice. And with- <laughs> yes. And so uh, he's like, I'm going to go. And he just married Mara and they have a kid. And oh. like, is it Aqualad or a new kid? It's a new kid. It's a girl. Oh. But uh, the it just takes Aquaman off the board because landing and Mars don't want to write about Aquaman. Well, not so- only that. This is all surface stuff. Yeah. Doesn't well, matter if they're ice. No, because it's cold down there. Like the it's endless winter on the earth and the the, the earth is the ocean water. freeze. They're not freezing, but they're colder. Well, can't they go to, closer so? to the core? Well, they're going to the core to get the fire. You know, the planet so. core. Tiffany, that's where the trenches. <laughs> yeah, they should get you the trenches. Can't go there. Monsters. That'd be cool. But instead, they go down there, <laughs> and so Mera and uh, Aquaman go on like a quest to befriend the fire trolls, which they do, and it sure. takes them forever. It take, it, like, in the middle of the book, they like they have this fun little, like, the, the fire trolls won't listen to Aquaman, but they see how cool Mera is, so they're like, all right, we'll follow you anywhere, and so you're they like, do. You are smoking hot. Yes. You are smoking. <laughs> and that, that like us. coming from us, We're hot, that you're hot. Yeah. That is just an image from Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes, yep. easily. I was thinking of that too, when he was like frozen in the ice and he yeah. froze his family. I'm like, oh, like Aang like, froze himself and his bison? Yeah, that's yeah. right. And didn't really know what he was doing. Yeah, like that too, because yeah. it's in this. So, uh, yeah. So, like, and, and occasionally the Frost King will make appearances in other people's books, and they're like, "Oh shit, the Frost King's here!" Now my main character, like John Stewart, can go fight the Frost King, and then he's like really awesome. He reaches deep down, he punches the Frost King really hard, and he's fake. It's it's bullshit. It's he's, a Doom bot. It's a Doom bot. He's a he's he's a, he's an ice bot. Like. It's just fake Frost Kings. And he's Wait, sending... so the Frost King's like still around? Yeah, the Frost King is like hiding and sending out Frost King avatars to <laughs> scare slash like you know spread his legend. This is this would be a better video game. Oh yeah, this is a total video game. This is gonna be a great video yes. game. Yes, I'm like, sorry, you get a chance to play each character and oh. like go on like their part of the the adventure, right? And mm-hmm. you you're learning the Frost King's moves yeah. because they're they're not real. Yeah. So you get to right. the final battle, it's epic. Each yeah. one has like a different move set. Yeah. And then you get to the real one, he has all of them. Yeah. yeah. And it's and garbage. It, and you're like, who the fuck made this? And every time you can say, I'm sorry, <laughs> Green Lantern or Flash or Wonder Woman, your Frost King is in another castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's in yeah. another uh, ice palace. Ice? Yeah. 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 So, you know, and then, and then that's the whole thing. Is then the, and then, the, the, like, everyone in the Justice League is, like, spinning their wheels and trying to stop the Frost King and trying to regroup and figure out what to do. Oh, eventually, man, they go to wait. the Oblivion Bar. Yeah, well, eventually, well, we, well, there's a tie-in book from Justice League Dark, back when that was a book, and so in that issue, it's all about Wonder Woman. Did I read that? You did not. Where have I been? You deliberately you didn't because it said Endless Winter on the cover. That's probably what so, I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Hapala is there. Yeah, Hapala gets called by Wonder Woman and the two of them go to the Oblivion Bar where Professor, like, where, where Detective Chimp and, uh, you and know. Bobo and Mother, Zatana. how did you solve this? Uh, Someone got stabbed in the stomach and fell over no. a cliff. Hippolyta, well, <laughs> Hippolyta tells the story and Wonder Woman's like, why didn't you tell me the story? She's like, I told Donna Troy. Didn't you read like, the hey. Titans crossover? Because ti- the Titans have a, a fucking tie-in book with this. Yeah. And it's like, ugh, I'm not even going to bother. It's just like, they're there. It's cold. They try to help people. They make a new friend. She's like, she's an Islamic uh, ice kinesis person. And she's cool, and her name's Summer, ironically, and we're gonna deal with her later, but not in this book. And she doesn't, she's not like the linchpin or the key to all of this. She's you can't gonna, have Summer in Endless uh, Winter. Right. Well, that's the thing. Oh, I guess. So, anyway, uh, in the Justly Dark book, they're just like, tell me more. And so Hippolyta tells them the story about who he is, about his family and stuff. And they're like, well, we could probably use Swamp Thing because Swamp Thing was part of the, uh, the original story, so let's get him. And Dr. Fate's like, eh, you can't really do that. He's kind of dead, and there's no avatar. So, like, there's nothing we do. So, they go to. New Mira, where uh, the green is like hiding from the uh, you know endless the, winter. The endless winter, 
And so they find like the spirit of Swamp Thing who's like inhabited the entire realm. And he's like, I can't go there without like a guy. So Hippolyta find summons- Find me a body. Kind of, so, kind of. <laughs> Hippolyta summons the spirit of Viking Prince. And he's like, hey, I'm in Valhalla. I'm getting laid all the time, killing things. What's up? What do you need? And she's like, I need to come back and fight the Frost King. And he's like, no. <laughs> Good for you, John. Like, no, I'm good. And he's like, tell you what, I'll be a ghost. And then Swamp Thing's like, cool, and I will grow my avatar around your ghost. And so what? you will get... That's not how that works. Your ghost isn't a physical thing, though. Yeah, but it, it becomes a thing, because like Swamp Thing's metaphysical. So, so two spirits make a body? Uh, sure. So Swamp Thing doesn't need like a physical dude. He needs like a person's like soul or whatever. Yes. Oh, okay. In order to exist in messed this planet. Up. That is messed up. So, <laughs> so the Swamp Thing Prince is born... And it's like a Viking swamp thing. And you're like, and, and it has the soul of the Viking prince, so Hippolyta could still be like, hey, buddy. And it's Swamp Thing, who's also like her friend from that one time that nobody talked about. But she's this like, is you're lame. like the ultimate friend. You're two no, of my friends mushed into one. Yeah, exactly. No, it's not lame. Look how cool he looks. Mm, oh, also, no. uh, <laughs> after the like death of Viking Prince, Hippolyta was so like grief stricken and sad and like and, she was so ashamed of like letting Black Adam be involved at all that like <laughs> yeah. the village themselves made this amazing Viking armor for Hippolyta and she's like, I'm not worthy to wear it because I fucked up so bad. But I'll hang on to it and then later I'll give it to Diana and she'll fucked wear it. Fucked up so bad? What did you do? Well, like he didn't get reunited with his family. All these people died and like we could have saved all these people from just like... Yeah, and Viking Prince died. Yeah, and Viking Prince died. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. I'll bet. Is this where that Wonder Woman run comes from after? Okay. Oh, yeah, no. When she goes to Valhalla and stuff? Yeah! They don't reference this. No, but like... But like, it could have directly tied in with it, and they just didn't, because they didn't read this. <laughs> like most people, they didn't read this And it's just thing. really weird that like we're directly referencing Vikings, Valhalla, and Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman and, and her history. Like, Apollona literally fought with Vikings. Yeah. Because while she's in Valhalla, Hippolyta's on the Justice League. Yes. And actually, it would have been really fun to have Hippolyta put on that Viking outfit to kind of like get some synergy going. Now, or what... just have Wonder Woman be like, hey, you banged my mom. We should bang. If... She's got her own guy. Yeah, she's got her own guy. Viking Prince is not in that Wonder Woman. No, movie. he's not. It's also she... weird that he should have been in that He should have been in that run. Yeah. She's, she's... She goes to Valhalla. She banged Siegfried. Yes. Yeah. Now, Actual it's... Siegfried? Yeah. Like Damn. of Siegfried and Roy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the tigers? <laughs> oh, Siegfried is right? The tigers made to Valhalla. Siegfried did not. No. <laughs> so, so there is no connection between those two Viking stories. Those two it's Viking just, Wonder Woman stories. It's just that Vikings are really in right now. Yes. And so, like, they're coincidentally. They're so hot well, right they're now. They're only in because we want to use them. Like, there's no, like, cultural Oh, you got the touchdown. show on, the Viking show oh, yeah, on Netflix because everybody's driving yeah. people over here. That's, like, at least three years old. Yeah, yeah well, this book is a couple years old. Right? It's, it's one. One year old, okay. We were this waiting for, for <laughs> death metal to, to end. end. Why would it end? <laughs> so yeah. Uh, oh, so you know they summon Black Adam. Well, Black Adam's already running Condock, so like he's like ooh, and uh, he. I remember. I feel like Apollo should guy. veto this. Be oh, like, she's no, not involved. You're, you're like, not on board. Apollo didn't even show up until later anyway. But like throughout the story, you know, like Flash is constantly running and because that's all he can do and uh, <laughs> but, it, but it's so cold you know and he keeps bitching and moaning about how cold it is and how it's like slowing him down does he, have a, does he have a coat no he's got to wear one of the like a scarf around his mouth he's so got he's, like the lightning like a ball he of yeah. that. anyway so he, he's got a frictionless suit so he doesn't burn up yeah. in life yeah, yeah he's got like plenty he's of heat he summons lightning for Christ's sake so anyway he, he the point is in, in that story like that's earlier on he's running and he's like on empty and he like and He's getting, running on empty. Is that a song? I think so. Okay. Uh, I was like, I don't know. What I don't know what it is. Anyway, so he, so Flash hurts himself, and uh, Black Adam and his new band of D-list supervillains bring Flash to Condock, where they like let him get warm, and he like eats. And is that Banshee? Yeah, Silver Banshee. Silver Banshee. Yes. Nice. Yeah, right? She doesn't do anything because I, here. I thought she was Day of the Dead. Yeah, she looks like a skeleton, so. Flash is like, ah, I can't summon the lightning because I can't, like, run fast enough because everything's cold. Because so I Black... can't balance my family life and my, like, work life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like Spider-Man 2 where it's like, I don't have what I want, so my powers don't work. Yeah. So so he's too cold, so he can't run fast enough to summon lightning. Yes. Which means he also wouldn't be able to travel back in time at the moment. That's right, right. which is he's convenient stuck. for all of us. But uh, Black Adam then just summons his own lightning and, like, blasts Barry with it. And it's like he gets topped off. 
So he's like, all like right, I'm able to. It means he's able That's to. That's not the speed force, you assholes. No, it's not. He says he can't even tap into the speed force because it's so fucking cold. And I'm like, what? But anyway, it doesn't matter. Who cares? The point is like. So wouldn't everyone just die instantly if it's that fucking cold? Yeah, but it's. It can't. Here's ba- the thing. Maybe Barry's just really sensitive. No, it's like to it's cold. literally like if it's like less yeah. than fifty degrees, I can't sell this. I, I just no, I'm not going outside. It's just I'm, so a, cold. I'm a warm you weather hero. How cold it is. <laughs> Every time I have to meet the fortress I'm, I'm of solitude, I'm hero. wearning like nine layers. I just, yeah, this, I just yes. stay here. I must be in the tropics <laughs> between <laughs> most effective sixty here. degrees exactly. latitude. Yeah, exactly. thirty. So I can run degrees. through the Arctic. I just don't stop. No. So Black Adam, uh, he like he, he he gives some big speech at the UN about how like Kondok's great and how you should like come here and you know hide from the endless winter or whatever. <laughs> even though it's like not gonna work, but whatever, who cares? He's just Black Adam is there. Everyone at DC at the higher up level knows that The Rock is gonna make a Black Adam <laughs> movie, right? And so like everyone who's like part of the plan is poised to make Black Adam a household name and an antihero. It's all part of the plan. Yeah, the, the plan to make fucking money. Yeah. And so... Uh, so they're trying to pull him from the villainous side the, more yes. so. But Lanning and Mars are like, Black Adam's a bad guy. So in this book, Black Adam is a piece of shit <laughs> who is constantly a bad guy who fights Superman and literally is like, I'm not going to forget this. You and I are going to throw down. And I'm like, oh, cool, good. Someone remembers that Black Adam is an irredeemable piece of shit. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, because like Venom's a lethal protector, but he also ate brains. <laughs> you can't just make Sabretooth a hero because he's popular. You fucking chodes. So anyway, in this book, like Black Adam's not part of the synergy of DC, which I really appreciate. Yeah. So he's just like, but he's also obtuse and frustrating, and so you know he's like, ah, I'm gonna fight the Frost King, and so he literally. He well, he's tr- also the leader of a country, right? Yeah, but so and every time they he gotta leaves, deal with him at the UN, they can't just like kill him or like, shoot at him or tell yeah. him to leave. Yeah, no, they're like, oh, here he goes again. <laughs> And like, so he's like course, Doom now? He's like Doom. And he's been like Doom for a while. Like okay. they've, they've been doing the whole conduct thing for a while. It's okay. not that that's like a, a tacked on thing. Okay. But uh, yeah, so Black Adam goes to Stag Industries. He steals the ice. He, t- he steals the family. And he's like, there. Now that I have the Frost King's family, I'll use it to summon the Frost King. Frost King finds his family, finds Black Adam. Black Adam and the Frost King fight. And so like now we've got the family involved. We've got Frost King involved. <laughs> And Black Adam's fighting him. Why could oh, he find his Stag's family there before? Too. Who cares? Um, yeah, well, he's a new character. Who cares? Oh, this thing? Don't worry about this. Because, <laughs> because that- Stag invented an untested Kryptonian prototype robot that is like a humanoid mech suit version of the Crawler that shoots sweet fusion, like cold fusion lasers or something. They, it looks like a 1990s ad for a computer game. Like that's, <laughs> like that's your monitor up there and it's like, pew! <laughs> Power up your computer with 56K modem. <laughs> Math will never be the same. With the Kellex card. <laughs> so he shoots the Frost King, but it's like, it's, it's cold fusion. It's cold fusion Kryptonian energy, so it just makes the Frost King bigger and more like awesome. Oh my god! Way to go, Stag. Yeah. And, oh, and hey, she's got her armor on, right? Yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman oh, puts the armor on because Hippolyta's like, perhaps you'll be worthy of the armor that I never thought I was worthy of. Put it on <sighs> now. It's the last chapter. You can put it on now. Right. Is she worthy of it? Sure. Yeah. She wears it and she she, she fights. You know, okay. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. She's wearing a bearskin coat or yeah, cloak. It's pretty dope. All right. So now he's the Frost King is so big. You need the whole Justice League to fight him. Yes. And I guess when they kill him or whatever, the endless winter will end. Or yeah. do they need to deal with that? Yeah. No, no, he is the endless winter. Like he's, he's like he's like the head vampire. Yes, uh, like he's see. summoning the endless winter constantly. So, he's constantly generating. Yeah. If, if the he's endless bigger, winter. well, can he make bigger monsters? His thing, yes. <laughs> and also, they find out that the, the bigger he is, the harder he falls. Well, yes, but also <laughs> that. None of the Frost Kings have been the real Frost King. The Frost King never left the Kryptonian base mm. at the at, at, in Greenland. So they go back to the Kryptonian <sighs> Fortress of Solitude crater. These have all been clones or decoys the whole time. Yes. Well, they're all like avatars of his, so they're pretty strong and powerful, but they're still not as powerful. They're as like he ice is. golems. Yeah. So he's been sending he's been sending all this like all these ice golems and himself and. And and summoning the endless winter the whole time. So then they go there and they take the battle to him. And then Viking Swamp Thing Prince shows up and they and he he's like I'm gonna get big too. And so they have a big like kind of kaiju fight. <laughs> and while they fight, you know, so so Swamp Thing is like, oh, the cold. I don't work in the cold. I can't grow here. 
but I'll make myself huge yeah. in this middle of Greenland. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well he's you know, powered by he's powered a, a Viking by, ghost. Yeah, he's powered by the Viking ghost. He's he like, I'm time. totally used to being cold. I'll help you Bring be it. used to the cold swamp thing. It's okay. We just need a couple of bear skins. And now we're uh, Viking swamp. Y- yes. Swamp thing prince. I know you said that already. That's what it says on the thing. What? That's his official name. <laughs> That's according the official to the, name. According to Doug Mankey's art. So uh, while everyone's like fighting and being badass up, up top, Hippolyta and Batman sneak off and find and and Eldwald oh. or Edwald Olafson kind of like in his ice cocoon manipulating things. And they're like, look at him. Like he's he's in pain. Like he's, this is the man behind the Frost King. We look, he's got the spikes hand. in him and shit. Yeah, he's sad. So uh, Superman fights Black Adam to get him out of the fucking way. <laughs> and uh, then Aquaman shows up. And like throughout the whole book, everyone's like, where the fuck? is Aquaman. And they're like, I don't know. And there's no tie-in to tell you. And I, I swear to God. Hey, I, what's the thing we never say in any book? <laughs> Where the Aquaman? fuck is Aquaman? Yeah, well, did, you, did you try throwing a message in a bottle? Did you try <laughs> polluting the ocean? <laughs> He's not Captain Planet. So, I, I Just write you. a note on a tuna and throw it back <laughs> in. He's it, a, it'll find it. Yeah. Abuse a fish in a tank and throw it in the ocean. <laughs> they... they I promise you, these are holdovers. Like the the establishment of like summer and Aquaman being gone. Like these are all holdovers from when this was longer. Yep. Yeah. There's a whole like, subplot with Aquaman. Yeah, but he's gone. He he. They they took the end of the subplot where he where Mera is awesome and the like and the fire whatever's trolls are like <laughs> you're fucking awesome and just put that in immediately. So they're like, well, go find them and then they find them and then they're cool with it and then they just need to fight more unseen frost monsters on the way to the problem. Sure. Yep. Whereupon they arrive and they like unleash their you know fire friends uh, to help like deal with the you know the, the big scary ice wolves and golems and like frost kings aren't, that are attacking aren't them. there dc heroes who have fire powers oh yeah there's plenty there's a character literally named fire i know um <laughs> where is he where oh she, she's she, not she. here none of them or, she's super them. hot too oh. well, these are justice league books and she was on the justice league back when the justice league sucked but she's like, uh, busy keeping ice in check because yeah. ice is like this is my time <laughs> <laughs> that's true ice is there she's not in this icicle is in this there's icicle. a character called icicle yeah yeah. Is, it, is their superpower they stab you with an icicle but there's no murder weapon I mean like they they are they look like Iceman after Emma Frost like takes over his body so like yeah kinda anyway so <laughs> Wonder Woman tries to appeal to Edwald's like humanity and uh you know they do. Did and, they just show him oh. his family? yeah well they're like your family is safe and we're gonna we're gonna protect them and take care of it it's gonna be okay so like they do and uh it's just an empty promise though they're frozen well yeah but like they're, they're, they're in like magic ice. Like they're not dead. Yeah, yeah like, but we'll but use magic to unfreeze them, them or yeah. whatever. Well, no, we can. But yeah. we haven't figured it out yet. So. Yeah, we'll just like calm down for a second and we'll work on the, it. Literally that. And yeah. so like, you know, Swamp Thing Prince shatters the Frost King that they've been fighting the whole time. Meanwhile, they, they pull Edwald out of the out of his like, you know, his self-imposed stupor. stupor. Yeah. So Viking Prince goes back to Valhalla. Uh, they're like, hey man, it's cool. Do you want to stay? He's like, fuck no. And he leaves. Uh, Wonder no, Woman. this place sucks. Yeah, this is bullshit. No, I was in I'm... heaven for warriors. Are you shitting me? So he leaves. <laughs> Apollo tells Wonder Woman that she's the best thing that's ever happened to her because, like, she has to do that in every story that they're in. Uh, Black Adam, uh, you know. Does Apollo to take the armor home and be like, yeah, well, I can wear it. <laughs> now that someone You've, redeemed, you've redeemed it. Now it's mine. No, she's, she just, like, we don't see what happens to the armor. Let's assume that Wonder Woman keeps it and something. Uh, but uh, Barry just... Gets over whatever the hell problem he had before, like he's, what, for no reason. Well, in the earlier in the book, he talks to Black Lightning, who like has good work life balance. That was literally the scene I remember. Yeah, uh. from this book, because I really like that conversation. It's a great conversation, but Black Lightning's like, you know, I'm a marginalized superhero, so most people don't talk about me. So I actually have a, like an okay life. It's me and Animal Man. Like, there's nothing else. <laughs> I don't, I don't save that many people really. Right. So I, it's well, not, it's like, not that well, big of no a problem. No one busy. No one really recognized <laughs> me on the street. Yeah, exactly. I don't get stopped. But uh, you know, he's like, just, just you know, just be a good guy and don't fuck up. And so, yeah. you know, Barry gets to go to, like, Christmas with him. And, like, they have, you know, they have a nice holiday together. I Bobo's there. Yeah, Bobo gets to go. Because, like, he was like, I'll, I'll go. And they're like, okay, I didn't realize you wanted to go. He's like, yeah. I love like, eggnog. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. I'm a sentient being, and I'm always stuck at the Oblivion Bar. I want to go someplace for fun. So they, like, they let him join the party. Aw. At Jefferson's house. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. He's not stuck there all the time. No, that's true. He, well, he sometimes he's at the... He Justice feels place. sad. Yes. Because He's his friend his dies. Yeah, because the fucking Batman laughs killed him. Yep. So, uh, meanwhile, 
a landing and Mars correct a major mistake where Superman is like, I shouldn't have left the Fortress of Solitude abandoned. I shouldn't have, like, no. It, he rebuilt it. He's like, fuck the whatever Fortress of Solitude I had before that was stupid. Having the Bermuda Triangle or whatever, or the or the South America it was dumb. I'm fixing it. It's Arctic. It's <laughs> crystals. It's here. I learned one thing from this crazy adventure is that I should put the Fortress of Solitude back exactly the way it was like 20 years yes. ago. Yes. I'm sure there won't be any trouble that comes from this. There isn't. So no. like Superman uh, promises. I mean now that we got rid of the ghosts underneath it. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> that's going to help. That's the problem is they were haunted by Viking ghosts. Haunted. So at the Fortress of Solitude, Superman promises like, I'm going to keep your, your family on ice and we'll put you under too. And like Wonder Woman's like, come on, don't you want to like be a superhero with us? And he's like, fuck no. Why so they are put they him keeping under the two. family on Edward? ice? Why would Edward want to be a superhero? Oh, right. Well, because he can like he can make ice and shit. Yeah, they got plenty of people that can do that. Yeah. They're all villains. Yeah, that, there we go. We need to balance it out. That's not true. Ice isn't. Yeah, no, ice isn't either. So Yeah, but they have fire to balance ice. The point is he goes away. He so leaves. His family is like people who like get themselves frozen now. It's like, well, we don't really know yes. how to like safely thaw you or revive That's you. That's right. But like maybe someday we will. So let's yes. just keep you on ice. Yes. <laughs> and so he's like, I'll just wait for my family. And ah. then they will be forever trapped under ice. Literally. <laughs> So then he goes away, but now he's like at rest because he knows that his family's taken care of. So he's not like, ah, I'm in this perpetual state of agony for thousands of years. Right. Uh, then we get a flashback that shows you that like the wizard and Swamp Thing and Hippolyta and Vi uh, like without Viking Prince, like beat the crap out of Black Adam. Like you never learned your lesson. You're a piece of shit. Bye. And like put him away. <laughs> oh. Like from, from the past. Oh, in the past. In the 10th century. Oh. So, you know, they did that. It's just how they explain he, like why Black Adam still He like, still never learned his lesson. No. He didn't learn his lesson this time. No, he didn't. But yeah. we show that like he's incapable of learning them. That's, yeah. that's what should happen. It should be a flashback to this and they're still kicking his ass. Yeah. Shazam's there, Hippolyta, <laughs> Swamp Thing. Right? That'd be great. They just did a circle like kicking him. Yeah. God, you suck. <laughs> What's your problem? Barry gets in on this, he's got like a thousand kicks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the that's Endless Winter. It finally ended <sighs> and it's like, who cares? Uh, it, but like, here's the thing. It, but it restored the status quo of the, the Fortress, Fortress of Solitude. Solitude. So, so I like work. that. Mm. Thank you. Does I agree Superman with that? like put all his shit oh, back? Yeah. Okay. And it kills Multiplex. And it kills Multiplex. And, it gets kills him multiplex. Multiplex. and that was a big so problem. Two birds Huge problem. Still. Are you kidding me? Whose problem that was invented? But a fantastic yeah. book for the holidays because. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it helps you appreciate the finer things in life. Oh, yeah, we got, I like, really thought scale. this was going to be like, like an ice uh, Krampus kind of thing. <laughs> I saw oh, the horns and that yeah. was my assumption. Yeah. I, I think it's the a lot of things. is cool looking, but like, that's it. He's, you know, he's he's a very one-dimensional villain. Well, yeah, unfortunately, like, they don't give him a decent enough backstory where it's just like, He gets hey, a whole saved... backstory, it's just not very... Energy. It's not that great. It's not engaging. Hey, we saved your family. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So, are there any consequences for the world, like, having been frozen for no. a while? No, like, yeah. but... Were there the massive green crop failures all time? over the planet? No, but uh, there because is there a should be. They, they follow up with this, I think in a flash book, where, like, it's called, like, Endless Winter 2, and no one liked it or read it. If this was Endless Winter, they should have, like, Christmas in July. Well, there you go. Instead what? Of, <laughs> well, they didn't do that. Well, that would be a fun scene. It's just like, <laughs> hey, it's not all bad. Well, it's winter, oh, so yeah. I guess we'll no, celebrate Christmas in July. it has to be very bad. Everyone's, like, miserable. There's no one who's having a fun time. Every, it's, yeah. it's, just, it's cold. Oh, it's come cold. on, what about the penguin? No, the penguin should be having a nice well, time. Apparently he wasn't. Time. Because he wasn't the cause of it. Or even though the penguin doesn't want to do that. So no. that's not a thing. The yeah, penguin doesn't care about how cold it is. He's, no, that's how his he, penguins and like it. He right? does like all it his in penguins the, uh, that he has. Yeah, in, Arkham City. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Mm. Well, in any case, th that's it. Endless winter. What was? <laughs> <sighs> it's a perfectly harmless story that utilizes a bunch of different characters and showcases all their powers. It's not in any way offensive. It's it's the most inoffensive DC event written in the last <laughs> 15 years. Mm. Um, I can see why no one cared though. Oh no, yeah. Well, especially because like it was just after death metal, everyone was just like fatigued and yeah. sick of it. And then they're like, here's an event. And they're like, get fucked. Here's and a like, bunch of shit happening. That's why I called it Monsters Unleashed. Because like when you read Monsters Unleashed in a vacuum, it's like, oh, what a fun little story about yeah. a bunch of characters that you like. Yeah. And it's like, but, a but it was after all that shit. And people, it, just, it was asking a lot. I feel like there's some missed opportunities in this book. Yeah, but they also needed they needed the page real estate. They were like, right. we can't just waste time. Showing we can't really you explore super... the concept. Yes, which to me is like, well, then you just like wasted the concept. Well, yeah, because like you could have gotten some mileage out of this. I mean, arguably yes, but at the same time, like, how much time are you going to spend on Endless Winter? 
<laughs> Here's the thing: if you're reading Endless Winter, if there's an there's episode, a ton of stories you can tell yeah. about like the kids, how, how much fun the children having, are having fun outside in winter. Yeah, everyone's skipping over that oh, issue dude, anyway. There is an issue. There's a full issue where Lois Lane writes a column about not losing hope during the Endless Winter. Like, what? They waste a whole issue where Superman's like, I don't know if I'm doing enough. And he goes to Smallville and he's like, ask his mom and dad. And they're like, you're doing great, Clark. You're awesome. And he's like, oh, thanks a lot. Like, that's a whole issue. And I'm sure- Clark, couldn't you just move a little, a little closer to the sun? Right? Like, just temporarily. Yeah, like, just the push the like, earth. Don't fucking do any more of those Superman issues. Like, no more of that. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta do some shit. Yeah, <laughs> I could have used like maybe a maybe an issue that was like a series of short stories about yes. people dealing with the endless winter. That would be fun. And it's like totally optional. You know, it's just like how's uh well we already know what Flash the is doing, but to, yeah. yeah, what are the Titans doing? What is well, uh, we, do, we get a whole because well, there's a Titans issue, but like we yeah yeah what are Fire and Ice doing? Right. Or, what about Booster Gold and yeah? What's Booster Gold doing? What's how's he doing? Doing? Last doing? Check out him. Sure. <laughs> what's the Justice Society doing? Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's none of that. But there's also no time. But even then... But like, what are the governments of the Earth doing? Right. Like, well, someone's right got to be coming like, up with like cockamamie plans to like warm the Earth. Oh what if we God. set off all the volcanoes on Earth at once? What Would that deal with the endless nuke? winter? Yeah, fire all the nukes into the atmosphere you know and warm it up. what's warmer than endless winter? Nuclear winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we don't, don't have a choice, Superman. Like, the Earth is dying. Like, that our also, crops are failing. we, we got to do something. Superman off the Because you can't end this endless winter. Superman's got a... Superman versus a nuclear winter versus everybody else. That could be why he's, like, losing hope because, like, the governments of the Earth are, like, fucking you're up. taking too long. Like, That'd be awesome. we got to do the nuclear plan. Yeah, well, they only probably had, like, a really short amount of time to work on this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a world-spanning event and we barely get any, like... I... We don't see the world. ...impact. It's like, oh, the endless winter is freezing everything. Can I see that, please? No, no. That's like Final Night. Same thing happened in Final yeah, Night. You get yeah, one exactly. shot of it and one of them is Black, uh, Black Adam. Yeah. I guess it's Although, because... <laughs> in Final Night, that was longer and it had more tie-ins because all mm. the titles had to be involved. Yeah. So, like, you did actually get to see what happened thanks to Final Night throughout the entire DC Universe and it was very optional. I... Right. Well, it would be, but... For That's us, cool. like we only did the main event. Yeah, we didn't yeah. talk about like what Lobo was up to. I love that night. people are like seeking shelter and it's real bad, and the Kents are just having a nice snowy day at home. Yeah, yeah like oh, we've been through winters before. Yeah, well, they served, they lived through Final Night. Well, here's the when thing: the, when the sun stopped working, does this winter last for three or four months? <laughs> because if not, that's just kind of normal yeah. for lots of the that's world. Just, that's just life. <laughs> here's the thing: even if it wasn't endless winter, my pot Kent are saying. Our son will take care He'll of take care I, of it. I also love that he's like, take it a minute. Yeah, he's yeah. got to take a second. It's a fun issue. It's just like, like hey guys, but, I shoveled the walk. Uh, right, but there's but like, like Aren't there like a lot of things we should be doing right now? Yes. I mean, but, we were talking but, about that work-life balance. Yeah, I got to right? take yeah. a minute for That's myself. That's why Superman feels this guilty about talking time. to Barry. He's like, yeah, well, sometimes it's I'll just let thousands of people die to talk to my parents about like how I'm feeling kind of he's bad. He's not just talking. Myself. He's having a cookie. And Pocket's yeah. well, putting a cookie like, in his shirt pocket. Tiffany, do you well, know how many people die what? in a minute? Well, because Ma doesn't want him to have any more, and so he's hiding one for later. Oh. Pa Kent, you bastard. Because he says, she says, that's enough for you. Save some for your son. <laughs> I didn't make Lots these cookies the for furnace. you, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. Ma like, gave him something clearly, like hot chocolate or chicken yeah. noodle it's soup. It's important, that's though, because nice. like, that's, that's the, that, the lesson, the real takeaway is because there is never going to be an endless winter, is the idea that, like, no matter what endless winters you're fighting as a human being, mm. you know, you got to remember to take a minute I guess I for just, yourself. I just feel like maybe you didn't need the whole article then, because, like, Ma and Pa Ken can sum up hope in, yeah, like, five got, panels. Yeah, but then what is Lois doing? Uh, nothing. Yeah. yeah, she's not part of this. She's a reporter. Yeah. And they got to fight an ice monster. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't need Which a reporter yeah. right now. I know, I know, like, the pen is mightier than the sword, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you had, if this was one of those books where you had to, like, galvanize the world to do something, but they, no, they just need to wait for Superman and, and <laughs> the rest of the Justice League to you save the to day. do something, I mean, you know. They yeah. need to not lose hope, I guess. That's why she's writing the article about hope. Well, just, like, don't freeze to death. That's the lesson. Don't freeze. Stay, keep, stay alive how, for a little bit longer. How about this? Instead of writing a letter about... Uh, keeping hope alive. Mm -hmm. How about I'll write a letter about like how you can make a uh, parka out yeah. of everyday oh, yeah. materials. How you can insulate how you can, your house. How you can heat. light a fire oh, she out of write, these materials. She could write a, a listicle about like top 10 ways to stay warm during the endless winter. Perfect. And that's, I would click on it because I'm an asshole. Right. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Apparently. <laughs> that's Jimmy's job. 10 ways to stay alive in the endless winter and 10 ways to die. <laughs> you won't believe number seven. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, they said I wouldn't believe. <laughs> well, I gotta see what they think I wouldn't believe. I, believe. I gotta see how damn stupid it, I did it believe is. That. I, oh, it's even stupider than I thought. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> Number seven, winter. light yourself on fire. It's short lived, but yes. you'll be warm. Now, why would anybody do that? That's so, oh God. <laughs> Oh, and at least three people on Facebook have done it. Well, <laughs> more like 1,300. Yeah. So, Endless Winter, it's it's fine. It's perfectly cromulent. It's fine, <laughs> comic pop. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's perfectly harmless. Yeah, and there's Superman with a red nose because it's cold out. It's chilly. He's using his heat vision to keep his nose warm. Yeah. He's well, just going to cross his eyes. What and he's going to do is he crosses his eyes, he <laughs> lights up his nose, and then he leads the way. Uh... Bravo. I'll make a copy of this available in the comments down below. But otherwise, we want to thank you so much for hanging out with us. And a big thanks to our special guests who did appear on this channel. Thanks a lot. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of them and from you uh, in the coming year. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for doing this episode and for constantly uh, giving me a Christmas every week making this show. I'm a lucky guy. And we'll see you guys next time with an all-new episode of Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. So long. Okay. No, this isn't working. This is no, 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 it works. No, it's not working. No. No. I don't know what happened earlier, but this is not working. Oh. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm, are you good? I'm just going to go. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We'll just, I'll just, just drive. Just stay here and snap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Snap. Snap all you want. It's, it's fine. Hey, snap me up a drink there, sweet cheeks. Sure, it worked. Ah, oh, finally, I got rid of all of them! But I lost my beard. Not worth it. Hey, only I'm allowed to do the snap! Hey, you gave me a cat. Thanks! <laughs>